I am on my way to Walmart right now with a backpack to get some milk. So I'm gonna be carrying on my motorcycle some milk. You guys see my boots? You like my uh, Bates Taser boots? They're pretty awesome, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna do a review for them soon now that I've actually worn them out and got some time on them. What's up everybody? I got a book bag full of milk. I really do. I just went shopping. I now have milk in my backpack. And I'm hoping it doesn't make my back cold. I'm just kidding. It's kind of hot out. I kind of hope it does make my back cold. Oh. Some bug just hit me in the face. I would just like to give uh, some initial impressions of these Bates Taser boots. They're actually uh, better than I expected for motorcycle boots slash motorcycle shoes, whatever category these fall under. I can actually just wear them around and not feel like I'm uh, walking around in a big old heavy boot. They're really comfortable, surprisingly comfortable. So uh, a lot of people kind of buy the boots based off like can I wear these around like not just riding can I can I put them on ride get to my destination and keep them on and uh yes definitely I could easily just wear these all day and have no problems I actually uh, put these on this morning got home uh, after uh, what I was doing and uh, I kept them on I didn't even take them off I was like well I'm gonna leave in like an hour or two I'm just gonna keep them on whatever they're comfortable I like them and uh, I normally wear like all Converse. Like Converse is, I have a ridiculous amount of Converse shoes. That's what I wear. So uh, to put these on, I, I was really expecting a huge difference. And like the very first time I put them on, yes, I was like, all right, this is a little bigger. So yeah, like my very first impression was like, all right, they're a little bulky because I only wear Converse. So obviously they're gonna be more bulky. Um, behind a school bus. But yeah, to uh, now take these off and throw some Converse on or whatever, it's really not that big of a difference now that I'm used to them. And the comfort is very good. Better than what I was expecting for a motorcycle boot. So uh, props there to Bates for making a, a quality product. Speaking of equality, how are these going to hold up? Well, I haven't had them super long, so I can't for sure say but uh, the build quality, I'm, I'm looking at these and reading reviews and stuff and just testing mine out, seems very good. Uh, for the price, uh, I wasn't expecting them to be like, oh, these are gonna last for years and years, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking they really will. They're very sturdy and the build quality is, is better than I thought it would be. It's good, I like it. Whoop, whoop. Now the style, the style, that's obviously gonna be very opinionated. But uh, looking at them online and seeing the pictures, I wanted the shoes, the uh, brown color. I got the brown ones. And I, I've always wanted a shoe that color, but uh, I never got one. I have a lot of Converse. Somehow never ended up with ones that color. So I decided to go for it. And looking at the pictures, I was a little iffy. I mean, I don't know. When I got them in person though, very, very nice. I actually did not think that they were gonna look as good as they did. Now, obviously me always wearing Converse, it's not the same thing. So it's a different style than if you like only stuck to a certain kind of shoe. But uh, if you look at it and it appeals to you, I think the pictures, uh, it shows it nicely, but in person it's just, it, it's so well crafted. I really do enjoy the look of the shoe. And it's not my typical like, oh, I'm only wearing Converse. So, you know, there's that. And if you don't like the look, you're probably not gonna enjoy the look of the shoe, but you know, that's just a very opinionated thing. But as far as me personally, I, I like it. I kind of want to wear it on my feet a lot because they look cool. It do that cool stuff. It are the coolness. So, you know, we all got our opinions and if you don't like them, your opinion's just stupid. So, you know, whatever. The only uh, downside, and I mean, it's not a downside at all, but the thing I've noticed about these shoes is uh, where the shifter is, it kind of leaves like a little uh, black spot on the shoe, and I'm gonna put that up on the screen if I remember to do that. 
but uh, shifting does kind of make like a little black area on the shoe, which personally I think it looks cool. I would kind of put that like all over the shoe and just have like little black spots around to have like a distressed look. I think that would be kind of awesome, but uh, that's not going to happen if you're just wearing them and shifting. So, you know, but you can get these in all black, in which case I don't think you would notice any marks. I know that guy. But yeah, that's just uh, my, my writing impressions of the shoe. And I guess if I have any problems, I'll, uh, I'll make an update video, but I'm, I'm not seeing any problems I'm gonna have with these. They're really nice. And for the price I paid, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but I, I got a whole lot. And apparently their customer service is awesome. I've seen people like comment like, hey, I'm having a little issue with the shoe and they'll respond and replace the shoes for them. So, I mean, that's, that's awesome to have. Customer service is a huge thing. I had that uh, with GoPro, like when I lost my camera and talked to them. Apparently their customer service hasn't been so good in the past, but recently they've stepped it up and that saved me a ton. And you don't realize how bad you need customer service until you need customer service. And if it's not there, you're gonna have a bad day. So uh, shout out to Bates for not only making a good product, but sticking behind it and staying with it and being there for their customers. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. Uh, so many bikes out today. It's just awesome when a company can stand behind their product and help you out with it. So, I mean, there are those companies, you know, they're just greedy. They all about their money. They don't care about you. As soon as they sell you some flawed product, they're gone. Can't ever talk to them again. It be like that sometimes, you know? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of vehicle that is, but it's kind of sketchy. Makes me cringe. All right, well, uh, that's all I got before I continue on some rant about customer service or something. I guess I'll uh, end the video here. I don't know if I caught that on camera, but that guy doesn't know how to turn out of a driveway. All right, uh, that's all I got, guys. I'll catch you next time. And always remember, if the shoe fits, don't put it in the microwave. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of milk. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of milk. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of milk.